I'm over here <laughs> um, in the midst of the fog of incense. It smells really good, actually. Okay, so uh, I've just fed myself. I've made, made soup, brown bread, stew, and uh, red cabbage. And uh, I hope all my creative, like, over energy has been dissipated enough now through doing that and filling my belly. And now I'm going to do um, a kind of quieter watercolour of fuchsia. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Okay. Right. I was kind of wanting to get the lighting a bit more, a bit clearer, but you know, I think this is good enough. I'm just, I've just got my, my little tray of um, watercolours here and I'm going for the cadmium red first and I thought I would draw with the paint so I'm just this little section of flowers is what I'm painting mm. let me show you from my angle See, it's kind of appealing to me because they're clear against the white background Okay. Hmm. I quite like painting fuchsia because they do have a particular shape to them. And there's something about that that's um, just quite pleasing. Being curious as to the size and the length of each petal. I'm really aiming to get this particular fuchsia, not just any fuchsia, but this particular one I'm looking at. Put some alizarin into the red now because it seems to me like it's got a more of a warmth to it. <clears throat> Actually, more of a coolness or whatever. It's just more wine coloured than the cadmium. So a bit of alizarin into it makes that more satisfying for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just finding each petal the shape of the overlapped to see how much the purple bit overlaps this petal in the background here. And it's more muted the colour of this one. some more water on the uh, on the brush as a way of making more fluid the paint because I also wanted to have less um, density of pigment in it for this petal that's coming towards me uh, let me just do that okay um, these are fuchsia that my mum <coughs> planted in May this year and there's a lovely big bush kind of developed from it around the back of the studio so I've been able to pick them for painting and just because they're beautiful so I've put a little bit of burnt sienna into the red now and some blue some ultramarine blue in order to make this colour at the top of the fuchsia <coughs> For goodness sake, I've only got one more minute. Um, but what I'll do is um, I'll do a part two, I think, because I don't want to rush this. I think the point of this is that um, I've been kind of rushing, really, as you probably noticed. The last few videos, there's been a kind of a sense of urgency. That's been okay. But now I want to just slow down a little. So I'll do a part two to this um, where you'll see the rest of it. And also, you know, if you're on the Facebook group page, you'll see the finished painting there as well. And if you don't know what that is, just message me at the bottom there. I should, I should respond to the uh, messages. <coughs> 
YouTube.